Hey, what's going on guys? Crypto Richie here hanging out with you today. Quick video on two web application apps that I, that I really recommend to keep track of your wallet a little bit better than the old, you know, MetaMask looking configuration here, your browser type, right? So with this, you can see activity, you can see your assets, but it's not really in depth. You know, it just gives you a basic look. So this is the site you want to go to. Check it out, zerion.io, and the other one is called DeBank, okay? Super cool because it's a cross-chain wallet, uh, which means you can track your Avalanche holdings, you know, on the AVAX network. You can track Binance. You can track uh, Polygon. So if you have different cryptos on different chains, you can track all of that through one application here. Um, and then Zerion just came out with their own wallet, um, which I just created as well. So you can create a new wallet here if you want or just use your MetaMask one. So I'm just going to click. You go to Zeron.io. I like this one more than the bank for some reason, just the interface. Um, plus, you can invest. You could just buy, you know, invest in um, other cryptos right through Zerion. So I'm going to click that and you're going to come to a page here. Click on MetaMask. Okay, it's going to ask me, do I want to allow and connect? So this is the account that I have. That I want to connect to it click next connect <clears throat> and then boom um, it shows this URL because I did buy a ethereum domain so this is kind of like one of my ethereum domains um, so it's loading right now usually it's a lot quicker it's probably my my internet right now is not not doing that great but let's go to the bank and do the same thing here so just go to thebank.com, click login via Web3 wallet. You're going to connect your MetaMask, okay? And then it's going to show you some, some information about your portfolio. So if you check it out here, it shows your address. Uh, it shows how much money you have on Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, Avalanche. It just gives you everything and then some other, you know, some other things. So if you can see here, I got some AVAX. Right, pretty cool. And it also gives you um, your NFT holdings, like whatever NFTs you got. I have a few on this wallet, nothing crazy, but uh, these are just some of the polypunks that I have. So pretty cool. You know, you can view profit and loss, whatever, you know, some of the transactions that I've made in the past. Crypto punk that I sold here. Um, I made 24 Ethereum on it. But anyway, um, the bank is good when it comes to this. But as far as interface, I do like um, Zerion. You can use both. Use both, you know. Um, click NFTs here. You can see some of the NFTs you got. These are some old NFTs that I got so long ago. A lot of these are just airdrops. Like if you hold NFTs, they'll airdrop you just a bunch of crap. So I highly recommend security purposes wise, do not interact with NFTs that you didn't purchase. Like here, you know, mint now, gutterpunks.co, you could literally type in that domain. You're like, what is this? Like I got this free NFT in my wallet, you know, and you're like, you know, this is pretty interesting. What is it? You go to gutterpunks.co and then it's a scam. It basically asks you to connect your wallet. You connect it and they empty your wallet out or they steal an NFT or whatever. So just be extremely careful um, when interacting with with airdrop NFTs, if you're not familiar with them, okay. Like I got scammed um, a couple times, not more than two, not more than twice, but I did get scammed twice. One of them was a Bean NFT that was worth about seventeen thousand US at the time. That thing got stolen from me. Okay, so just you know, if you bought NFTs, you know that those are yours. That's fine. But if you get airdrop some, right, and then they, they have some URLs or or you're looking at your history and you see that you got something for free or whatever, right? Like these are not showing up in, in the uh, NFT tab, but they're showing up here. Like, and then you click on this and you're like, what the hell is this? Dustopia, you know, you might, it might say dot DAO, dot decentralized organization. But that's how I got scammed on one of mine. And then I was like, what is this? You know, because because like, you know, a lot a lot of NFTs like they do airdrops. Like if you're holding a specific NFT, the company will like, especially if it's a blue chip, like a big company, they'll, they will airdrop you a bonus NFT or something. Right. Um, that you can sell or flip, you know, whatever you want to do. 
So when I was holding beans from Azuki, I thought that it was like um, a drop and I connected and they literally stole my bean. You know, it was like five ETH at the time, 5.5 ETH. So anyway, um, cool, cool sites, Zerion, okay? Uh, Zerion.io and you can connect. And then the other one is the bank. <clears throat> Check those out and uh, explore them. You can also add other wallets by just connecting another wallet or even grabbing like with this MetaMask account. I don't know if you guys know, but you can add, literally add a wallet super easily at MetaMask. And we'll talk about that in other videos, but <clears throat> if we open this up here, right here, you can see I have another account here, account number two. If I click to it, click connect, okay. And if I refresh, Oh, well, I'm gonna have to remove this wallet. I remove it, um, and then let's see. Am I connected to? Yeah, I'm connected to the to the other wallet. I guess if I just refresh, it might work. No, it won't. Connect. Boom. Here it is. So this is zero. I basically got nothing in this wallet right now. All right, this this MetaMask wallet. And you can easily create another one. Like I could click this and then just click create account, account three. So this should, this could just be new. And remember, it's a new seed. It's a same seed phrase that you backed up will give you access to all these wallets. Okay, it's just different accounts, basically. So now if I click this, now I got three different MetaMask accounts. Okay, three different addresses, right? Um, that you could do but it's the same backup seed phrase for all three of these accounts just keep that in mind okay there's no new seed phrase or anything it's the same as your original one all right so uh so yeah that's pretty much it i want to show you these two sites it's tony crypto richie here hanging out with you today um please share like subscribe let me know what you thought comment down below let me know what you think of this and if you find if you have other sites that you guys use let me know um, if you want to learn more about NFTs and how to flip and make money with crypto and NFTs, check out my website, CryptoWaters.com, right over here and down below on how I made hundreds of thousands of dollars just last year alone flipping NFTs for profit. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. Peace.